Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate that. If you want to become a member and help support the channel, just hit that join button. Y'all have a great day and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. I don't have it on hand. Just like to chit-chat and, you know, have a great time with this. So uh, sit back, relax, and uh, let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up uh, first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And looks like Victory Savior already has some upgrade kits already. Well, they needed. So you get uh, filler kits for the uh, the double barrels that go on the back of him, which definitely need those. those uh, that was so ugly. Uh, you get some gap fillers for Saber, the little mini, you know, mini one. Uh, you get the arm gap fillers and the legs as well. So pretty cool. I'm sure there's going to be some more add-on kits to add on to this, but uh, right now, and this is for a new company too. It's called Supermake, and we got quite a few things coming from them. Uh, up, up next also is Skullgrin. He gets some uh, some gap filler for him, so that's pretty cool. I think there's also some uh, weapon upgrades for him. I don't know if the Super Mech is making them, but I know somebody is making those. And then Ironhide from Studio Series. He is getting some upgrades for some gap fillers. And it looks like something for his inner legs, I guess. Maybe some ratchets or better ratchets or something. I forgot what that was, but... Uh, there's something that, you know, making it a little better for him, I guess. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Then they're also making a weapon adapter for Generation Select Super Megatron. So I guess it's a little clip on for to add on the, the uh, weapon, I guess, on this, uh, you know, I guess his shoulder, or not shoulder cannon, but his uh, forearm cannon. I guess that's what that's for. I don't know for sure, but I don't have this figure. So, but yeah, a little weapon kit right there. For and it looks like Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus is getting a new sword. Kind of looks like the one from... Um, what was that? Uh, the Optimus Prime. I forgot which. Uh, it was one of the Optimus Primes. I think it was um, Shattered Glass, and one of those. Uh, one of those, or maybe Nemesis Prime, had this kind of uh, uh, sword. So uh, he's getting an upgrade sword. That's pretty cool. And it looks like War for Cybertron Eight Face is getting some forearm cover kits to, uh, you know, cover those big old gaps. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. Super Make. They're, uh, I guess, they're a new company. They're uh, printing out some new stuff for, uh, you know, some gap fillers. So that's pretty cool. So I think you can get all this stuff at TF Safari. Uh, so yeah, Super Make is making some upgrades. And it also looks like Go Better's got some new stuff as well. Shattered Glass uh, Slicer is going to get some uh, new weapons and also some gap fillers. Looks really nice. I definitely need that. I like the shoulder cannon for that. Looks pretty good. So there you go. Uh, Shattered Glass uh, Slicer is getting some upgrades. And so is Shattered Glass Soundwave as well. Bunch of gap fillers for him. That looks awesome. I'm going to get that. Uh, looks pretty good. So there you go. Uh, Shattered Glass Soundwave is also getting some Go Better upgrades. And the last one is going to be Studio Series 86 Ironhide. Also getting some gap fillers. Uh, much needed gap filler for him as well. So there you go. Go Better is giving us some, some waffle fillers. And man, that sounds so good. Mm-mm-mm. Waffles. All right, moving on to third-party Legends news. It looks like NPH Studios is finally releasing something. Uh, they got a Prime coming, and they also have this Beach Cobra coming. Now, this is the clear blue version. I guess this might be another version, or uh, it says that they, you know, finally going to release this some batches out. Uh, so I don't know if this is what, you know, it's like an extra, you know, something like the side project for them. I don't know for sure. It doesn't really tell them. Uh, it really doesn't tell in the uh, description. Uh, but yeah, I like it, man. I love that clear blue translucent plastic, man. It looks really nice. Looks like a little small blueberry. Uh, but yeah, this is coming out finally. This is MPH Studios. This is their... Uh, uh, Beachcomber. And speaking of MPH Studios, they show us a little render of MPH-03 or S-03. This is their Warhammer. Uh, yeah, this is their Warpath. Uh, so we see the head sculpt and it uh, looks really shiny. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, they're giving us a Warpath and that's pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be the same scale as uh, Beachcomber. That's going to be awesome. So there you go. It's a very small scale is what they say. It's like one one hundredth of a scale. So, you know, pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, we got new stuff from uh, MPH Studios, MPHS03. This is their Warpath. And the last news we'll talk about is uh, going to be Making Friends Studio, KD02 Galvatron. So they knocked off New Age Galvatron. Uh, I don't know if this is an upscale or just a straight knockoff. The only thing I really see different is he does get the gun that the toy version gets. Uh, he does come with a Matrix, you know, and his shoulder cannon, or not shoulder cannon, but arm cannon, uh, a couple faces, and a little pistol. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't know for sure if like I said, it's a straight knockoff or it's an upscale, anything like that. I've never heard of them. This is KD02. I don't know which one is KD01. Uh, but yeah, someone knocked off New Age uh, Galvatron, which, you know, uh, that kind of sucks. But, you know, if you like that kind of thing, here you go. Uh, Making Friends Studio, KD02 Galvatron. All right, moving on to MP third party news. It looks like we got a new company. Yay! Star Toys. But... Uh, the rumor is they're gonna, they are Transform Element, which is cool. I like their stuff. Uh, that's really nice. But man, they're giving us ST01 Blitzwing, and I'm excited. Finally, we get a, a looks like a decent uh, Blitzwing and everything. There's Dicka. There's a couple of choices out there. Fans Toys has still not released theirs. You know, a lot of people are waiting for that one. But man, that's been like five years now. But this one looks pretty good. The alt modes look really nice, really spot on. The jet mode looks good. Not a lot of kibble underneath. The tank looks awesome. I like that. The bot mode looks good. Now these are early part, you know, looks like early part of the top. So, you know, he may be leaning on the back, you know, that back end right there of the wall to, you know, help stand up, which is fine. Uh, give it time. But man, I'm excited. We're finally getting a Blitzwing. Um, it looks really good. You get the weapons that uh, look really nice. Uh, so I can't wait to see some uh, color pics of this guy. So yeah, Star Toys, which like I said, the rumor is they're Transform Element. They're giving us ST01 Blitzwing. And yeah, I think that he's uh, uh, for pre-order now for like $140. That is awesome. To get an MP scale triple changer, that's pretty good. So there you go. I'm excited. I'm definitely in for this guy. And as always, looks like Magic Square is releasing a Nemesis Prime with their Light of Peace. Uh, this is Magic Square Dark Lord. And it uh, looks really good. I love the colors on him. I love that translucent red on there for the windows. You got the uh, uh, turquoise right there on his waist. It looks really good. And the silver looks really nice. I don't think I'm going to go in for this one. I I'm good with the, the Peace one or the Optimus Prime one. But eh, maybe if it goes on sale, I might get it. But there you go. This is going to be Magic Square Dark Lord. And this is their Nemesis Prime. Wow. He looks pretty good, though. I like it. And if you're able to watch Pake for Life, uh, he was doing the MMC Streetwise. Uh, he was doing the review for it uh, about a couple days ago. He was able to show us some uh, prototype pics of their blades. This is uh, Ventus uh, from MMC. So really awesome. I'm excited for that. I actually get my Streetwise in today, so I'll be doing a review for that this weekend. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So Blades is going to be their next one. And uh, so it's MMC Ventus. And I'm really looking forward to this, man. It's been a, you know, it's been a while since we got, you know, another one of these. So I'm excited to get this. So we'll probably get this one probably early next year. So I'm uh, really excited for that. So there you go. Ocular Max Ventus. This is their Blaze from MMC. All right. Well, it looks like Generation Toys is still around. So they're releasing a uh, box set of their Defensor or Guardian. Uh, this is going to be a set of five. So it's going to be a box set. That's pretty cool. And it's going to be like a battle damage version. So it took almost, what, five years or five years plus to get the uh, final uh, hot spot. And uh, now they're doing a box set and it's going to be more uh, battle damage. So, you know, if you like that kind of thing, kind of out of, out of scale now with the uh, combiners we have, you know, out right now. But if you like that kind of thing, pretty cool. So there you go. Generation Toys is giving us a uh, battle damage version of their Guardian or Defensor. All right. Up next, it looks like somebody's knocking off Flames Toys Windblade. AC02 City Whisperer. Whisperer. Uh, looks like this is going to be made, uh, it's going to be uh, released January 5th of 2023. The height is about 18 centimeters. You got die cast, uh, you got a, a new stand, add some new swords. Uh, the chest is silicon soft chest, so it's got a soft uh, chest. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, nice stuff, one knife and could hold a wrench and all that stuff, and one cartoon head. So, looks like somebody's knocking off the uh, wind blade from uh, Flames Toys and giving them some extra accessories. So, there you go. I don't know the company, it just says AC02. And this is City Whisperer. Yay. So it looks like Tour World is releasing another Starscream. This is their World War War 1 and 2 series. You know, the old Tommy stuff. Uh, this is Aerial Light. Um, I don't know if this is a recolor or this looks like the uh, Build-A-Figure, to be honest. But it may be another recolor or something like that. But hey, it doesn't matter. It's another Starscream. I'm excited. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. Uh, I will definitely will try to get it if it is a new mold. Uh, but there you go. This is Tour World, Toy World Aerial Light. And uh, yeah. It looks good. I like it. I have one of them. So it looks like Planet X is re-releasing their PX0, uh, C03 uh, Nemeosis or something. Uh, this is their Victory Leo. Um, it looks like they got a different kind of gold paint, so it's more shiny. So yeah, they're giving it a new paint job. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, uh, this is this shows the bot mode and it shows the alt mode as well. Uh, so it looks pretty cool. I've never got the, uh, I don't have a whole lot from Planet X, but uh, I've heard some good things about their stuff, but 
I uh, just don't really have a lot of it. So there you go. This is PXC03 Nimios. Nimios. And this is a, a new paint job. So it's more shiny. All right. And it looks like we got some new picks from Rising Force. This is their RF-L series Wild Rider. So this is going to be their second one they released. That's pretty cool. We got Dead End and now we got Wild Rider. And um, I got Dead End. He's pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to be in for Wild, R Wild Rider as well. So there you go. Rising Force Toys. This is their Wild Rider for... Uh, Legend scale uh, Stunticons. Looks good. And it looks like DX9 is still around? Eh, probably not. More than likely doing the uh, Make Toys kind of thing. Uh, but they are reissuing the uh, DX9 Carry, which is the hot rod, and they're giving us a metallic version. So if they had to put out any of their, you know, uh, other stuff, man, this is a great one to put out because I love that carry. It's one of my favorite, definitely one of my favorite DX9s, but definitely one of my favorite third party uh, MP scale ones, and he's awesome. So really looking forward to this. Definitely going to get this. Uh, kind of wish DX9 was still around, but I think just like Bait Toys, they're just, you know, hanging it on by thread. Uh, they're basically just doing reissues or recolors. Uh, haven't seen anything new from DX9 for years. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So we're getting a DX9 carry hot rod. This is their Rodimus or metallic version. And, um, yeah, can't wait for it. All right, let's move on to official Transformer news. It looks like we got a possible second trailer running time for Rise of the Beast. All right. So the second trailer for the Rise of the Beast could be running about a minute and 32 seconds. At the moment, there are two trailers circulating. Uh, the original for about 2.10 running time and then uh, 2.15 with the preview. And then Nickelodeon has a cut with the same uh, minute uh, running time uh, that uh, trailer B fits near the length or, or neither length as well. Um, so it looks like the new trailer might be a variant of the trailer A that we got. So, uh, but there's no information on when it's going to be released. Uh, just to, you know, this take it with a grain of salt. So there you go. Possible second trailer running time. Then we might have a new listing discovered, the Rise of the Beast Titan Changer Phantom. So a new listing is discovered for Transformers Rise of the Beast Titan Changer Phantom. Phantom is a code name for an unknown character that previously appeared on the Revenge of the uh, Rise of the Beast Spark Changers listing. Uh, the character receiving two toys. Uh, with a code name that may indicate that it's not a reissued character from the line of Energon Igniters. Uh, so Phantom will join the ROTB Titan Changer line along with Optimus Prime. So yeah, we're getting a new Phantom, so that's pretty cool. Then we got in-hand images of Rise of the Beast 2-in-1 Mask Bumblebee Robot Mode. <laughs> Previously, we've seen the 2-in-1 Mask Optimus Prime Mask Mode, Robot Mode, and in package look, as well as Bumblebee's Mask Mode and his instruction sheet. Uh, so yeah, you can check the additional images. Uh, this is definitely for the kids. So there you go. In-hand images of uh, Rise of the Beast 2-in-1 Mass Bumblebee Robot Mode. Then we got stock images of Buzzworthy Bumblebee Bumble Swoop. This is Bumblebee and Swoop combined together. Uh, the figure is a re-release of Cyberverse Rolling Combined Wave 1 Bumblebee and Dinobot Swoop Bumble Swoop. Toys are now in the Buzzworthy uh, Bumblebee packaging. Still unknown of the other two Rolling Combined 2-packs. It could be Megatron and Sludge. Or it could be Will Jack and uh, Grimlock uh, will also be released and everything. So, yeah, here you go. If you like that kind of thing, there is Bumble Swoop. And then new stock images of Transformers Authentics, Titan Changers, Cheetor, and Soundwave. Uh, these are two new molds for the 11 inch Titan Changer line, which focus on big, easy to transform, and affordable toys. Cheetor looks pretty similar to the original Beast Wars design, but with some extra mechanical details on his body. Uh, packaging things, uh, features a menacing gray eyed Ch uh, Cheetor or Cheetah, and then Cheetor is a second Authentics Beast Wars line following the uh, Optimus Primal. Uh, Soundwave is pretty similar to the Authentics 7 inch Alpha Soundwave toy and transforms into an armored vehicle. So there you go. 11 inches and 7 inches of a lot of plastic. Shampoo. So we got our first in-hand images of Transformers Rise of the Beast Deluxe Wheeljack and Nightbird. Now I've already done a separate piece on this earlier. If you don't mind, go watch it. But uh, here's a couple pictures and yeah, those sunglasses, man, they are wild. So there you go. <laughs> new images of Wheeljack and Nightbird. And I also did a, a little piece on this one too as well. The new images of Evolution Leader TFP Skyquake as well. So go check that out if you don't mind. But uh, there was also some compatibilities with a uh, deluxe needle nose we didn't know about. So the uh, photos show off a of bot mode in more correctly transformed state with the previous hollow uh, forms covered up in the panels and the shoulder pads angled down for a more accurate or show accurate look. We also get a look at the weapon storage and vehicle mode. And also it looks like it's compatible for deluxe needle nose leading to speculations of what the future may hold for these two molds. So it looks like you can combine these in their alt modes and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I didn't go over that, but uh, I did go over all the pictures 
and everything. So uh, definitely go check that out if you don't mind. So it looks like Beyblade Burst and Transformers were revealed. So Beyblade or Bladers ever wonder what Bumblebee, Megatron, and Optimus Prime would look like as Beyblade Beyblade tops? Golly! Uh, for the first time ever, limited edition uh, Bays are available to check out on the Beyblade Burst app. Uh, you can read these as available only in virtual tops in the app. There's still no concrete information about tops being available as a physical purchase yet. So if you go on their app, you can get Megatron, Bumblebee, and Optimus Prime as Beyblade Burst. All right. So it looks like we got some in-hand images of Transformers Earthspark Deluxe Bumblebee and also Twitch. Uh, this look like Bumblebee's coming in deluxe size class, which has worked in a similar way of the size and engineering as it was with the Cyberverse Deluxe toys. Bumblebee looks pretty uh, cartoon accurate in robot and alt mode, featuring a decent uh, posability range and compact backpack. We also have comparisons next to uh, the uh, Cyberverse Deluxe Bumblebee and the first edition Bumblebee. Uh, it looks like we got uh, also some Twitch uh, pictures as well. So there you go. Awesome, awesome. All right, and some exciting news for me. 3-0 MDLX Starscream official announcement and sketches. Oh, man. Cannot wait for this one. Starscream, there's a smaller scale, lower price deluxe offering featuring high-end paint and tons of articulation with updated and slightly styled G1 designs. Uh, designs. Man, I cannot wait for this. So finally, after the uh, launch of Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Nemesis Prime, Clip Jumper, and Robin's Prime, 3 Zero is uh, happy to announce the uh, Starscream is coming. So that is awesome. I wish we get a bigger version. I hope we will we will down the line. Uh, but I'll take anything we can get for Starscream, and it's an easy recolor. You you know you're definitely gonna get Skywarp and Thundercracker. So really excited for this. Looks awesome. I cannot wait. So there you go. 3 Zero MDLX Starscream. Man, get in my collection. And we got some new images of Super 7 Transformers Ultimates Wave 5 Fallen Starscream and G1 Reformatting Megatron. Uh, the wave consists of Fallen Starscream and Reformatting Megatron. Both are retool redecos of the previous Ultimate Starscream and Megatron figures inspired by the iconic scenes from their Transformers the movie from 1986. All two uh, are coming in around $55 and due to ship out the fall of 2023. And uh, each comes with a slew, um, a slew of accessories and several display alternatives. Uh, definitely in, I'll probably get both of these. So there you go. Falling Starscream and G1 reformatting Medtron from Super 7. So in a shocking turn of events, Hasbro has unveiled via backer emails that due to a campaign being the most successful Transformers Had Lab project to date, we'll be getting two Autobot Macro Micromasters, Pippo or Pipo and Bocher, known as American names uh, Fix It and Sea Watch, uh, which complete the Transformers Victory Micromaster Rescue Patrol team together with Fire and Hori or ha Hori, I think it's Hori, uh, which uh, included were included with Victory Saber. These brand new uh, molds uh, will be packaged with the Mighty Desaurus alongside with the weapons, accessories, and the throne and the flight stand. That is awesome. So yeah, so for being you know the best uh, you know project to date or you know the most you know success successful one, uh, we get two little MicroMasters. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait, man. I can't wait for a Desaurus. So it looks like there's going to be a repack of the Transformers Legacy Evolution Leader Transmetal 2 Megatron. So we got new packet imaging. Uh, this is just a re-release of the Transmetal 2 Megatron. Uh, slightly different packaging now featuring the Legacy Evolution logo on the front. So pretty cool. So if you uh, don't get a chance to get this guy, which I highly recommend you do because he's awesome, uh, we got a new package. Awesome. And it looks like CG character lead Joe Del Torre shared an early development model of Optimus Prime created for the Transformers Earthspark. Uh, so that looks pretty cool. So if you like the Earthspark thing kind of going on, uh, we got some early uh, development uh, models of Optimus Prime. And they look pretty good. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news. And man, as always, got a bunch of great stuff coming out. Man, I'm excited for that Star Toys uh, Blitzwing. That looks so good. I cannot wait for that to get my collection. Man, that 3-0 Starscream. Mm, can't wait. Cannot wait. All right, hit me up some in likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up some comments. Tell me what you're excited about. Are you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next uh, What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.